But let's go into the first tip, set clear goals, both on the uh, from a daily perspective. If every day you're setting new goals, you're going to have a really effective week. If every week you're, set, you're uh, targeting uh, effective goals and you're doing those daily goals, you're going to have an effective month. And if every month, you get, you see where I'm going with this, you're going to have a successful and effective year. So we want to make sure that you're not just having your New Year's resolution, your big goals for the year ahead. Number two, break down and divide the skill or topic into smaller parts, just so you don't get overwhelmed. So let's say you want to get like bench press, for example, you want a 100 kilo bench. At the moment, you're benching uh, 60 kilos. You want to make sure that you can... Um, work towards so 100 kilos is your big picture goal we want to be able to get multiple reps uh, at 70 kilos is your next goal and you might achieve that in a month's time uh, and then of course we're working towards 80 coal 80 kilos okay so break it down um, not just from a weight perspective but also your technique so you've got technical focuses on areas maybe that maybe your elbows collapse when you're doing your bench press so you really focus on every rep make sure your elbows are nice and tight or you might focus on um you're breathing, uh, for example, you're not bracing well enough during the bench press and you're forgetting to breathe, whatever it might be, um, break it down into small areas of focus. Practice regularly. We can do all the reading and research we like, but if we don't actually practice and learn through doing, then you're not going to get anywhere. So consistency is really important. Practice whatever you want to get better at, whatever skill that is. Let's say it's ground balls. You need to make sure, yes, you're asking questions um, to your, from your peers on how to get better at ground balls, you're speaking to your coaches, uh, you're working on your, your, um, uh, your research, maybe looking at AFL players online uh, and you're doing courses perhaps or you're reading books, whatever it might be, watching YouTube videos. But most important is that you're practicing consistently on that uh, skill. I find too often um, athletes I'm working with, particularly younger athletes, they'll focus on one thing and then they'll forget about that thing and they'll focus on another thing the next week and they never actually get they really, never really double down on that one skill that they, they've identified as important for them or maybe a coach has, and they focus on it long enough to reap the benefits. You need to make sure you stick it through uh, for a long period of time to really um, break through and get better and become elite at that area. Number four, active learning. Take notes, ask, and apply. So like I mentioned before, the, the beauty of having notebooks, um, you might have a get better plan notepad, for example, like we do in the academy um, where we've got a, a get better plan section in our membership. Uh, and we recommend all members on that uh, academy to have a, a Get Better Plan book where they have one lifestyle focus, whether that might, might be sleep, improving the quality of their sleep, getting to sleep at a consistent time and waking up at a consistent time might be a focus for them for the next month. Once they're consistently doing that on a daily and weekly basis, then the next month they have a different lifestyle focus. It might be um, increasing the amount of uh, leafy greens that they're consuming, uh, so increasing their vegetables. Or within that, you've also got a physical focus. So for the month that they're focusing on sleep, their physical focus is intensity in the gym, for example, because they've um, the last month they might have just been going through the motions and just ticking the boxes, getting the work done, but not actually bringing real intent and intensity to the gym. So to work on their power and their strength. Seek to understand as if you had to teach it to someone else. This is really important from your from a ability to concentrate and make sure that you're really alert and engaged when you're doing the task. You're not just... Um, just doing it for the sake of doing it. So I like to think if I'm learning a new skill, imagine I've got to try and teach this to someone um, in an hour's time when I'm working off learning online, researching, or maybe speaking to an expert in the field about that particular, the questions that I'm asking, uh, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, how, what questions do I need to ask to, to, so I can understand this topic so well to the point where I can teach it to someone else. Okay, if I find that's a really effective uh, method and something to think about from a mindset point of view, so you're not just um, wasting the person's time or you're not wasting your time, um, you're alert, you're concentrating, and you're really focused on the task. And I find you retain information a lot better when you're thinking of it like, I need to understand this topic, this skill so well that I'm able to teach it to someone else. 